Hi everyone, this is the Billiards Doctor. In today's video, I want you to guys how to do rail first shots. So rail first shots are going to be where the cue ball hits off the rail before you're hitting the object ball. So if I want to make this eight ball to win the game, you can see that, that the 13 ball's in the way. And there's no clear path to the eight. So I have to go off the rail first. <clears throat> so what I can do is I go to the eight ball. I find the spot in the eight ball I have to hit in order to make this. So the eight spot I have to hit is right here, where my finger is. Okay? I'm going to take my cue tip and I'm gonna put it at the position where the cue ball has to hit. So right where my finger is, I'm gonna put the, the cue tip there, okay? Notice that the cue shaft and the rail are at a right angle to each other, 90 degree angle. I'm gonna take my index finger and I'm gonna place it at the point where the rail and the shaft come together, okay? I'm gonna bring the shaft tip to the rail, keeping my finger on the same point on the shaft, okay? And I'm gonna place my finger down and this is where it is, see where my finger is. I'm gonna draw a line from my index finger, from the finger of the point I had, to the cue ball. Then I'm gonna take a piece of chalk and I'm gonna mark where I have to hit. Where the shaft and the rail come together. You can see here, the shaft and rail came together at this point here. So now what I'm gonna do, is I always use a little bit of running English, a little bit of top right English on this shot. I'm gonna hit where that piece of chalk is and I should make the eight ball. like that. That was not an easy shot. That was somewhat difficult. But if you do the math, it works out really well. So I'll do it one more time for you guys. So if I have this shot here, put the cue ball there. Okay. I'm going to find the point on the eighth ball I have to hit, which is right there. Take my index finger, put where the rail and the shaft come together. Slide the cue toward tip towards the edge of the rail. Put my index finger down on the table, draw a line to the cue ball, right here. I'm going to use a little bit of running English. Go rail first. Just like that, every time. Okay? So that's, that, that, that's rail first shot. I also want to teach you guys the rail first shot. If you're trying to get if you're a shorter distance. So let's say I have a similar shot, I'm trying to make the eight ball, but the 13's in the way here. So as you can see, I can't make the eight. So in order to make this, I have to hit off the rail first. And for a shot like this, you don't really have to do math on this, you can kind of just estimate because you're just so close. But what you want to do is uh, you want to hit rail first, you want to always use inside English. So I'm going to use top left English here, I'm gonna go off the rail and hit the eight. The reason why you use inside English is because if you go angle N equals angle out, there's actually a pretty significant vector going this direction. And you don't want that. You want as much vector going this way because that's where you want the eight ball to go. You want the eight ball to go this way. So if you put top left English or just left English on this shot, the cue ball is actually gonna hit this rail and it's gonna go flat. Flat, which is gonna give you a higher probability of making the eight if it's going in the same direction like that. So I'm gonna go like this, line it up. A little bit of inside English, just like that, every time, okay? Another shot that's very handy to have where you also go rail first is oftentimes if you have a very straight shot, like this shot, for example, where the cue ball and the 13 are very straight, I can't do anything with this. I look at this, I can try to cheat the pocket and use lower right maybe, but I can't, I can't get out of this. I, I, it, I'm stuck. I, Stay down here. I have to get all the way down the other end of the table in order to make the ball. So what you can do is you can go rail first. And this is a very tricky shot because you're hitting it pretty hard. You want to use inside English again. So I'm going to go rail first, the top left, and it's going to hit the rail, hit the 13, it's going to fly all the way down the table. See that? The cue ball all the way down the other end. Much different than my flat shot where the cue ball can't go anywhere. So try to keep that in mind when you have a flat shot like this. You don't know what to do, right? You can't, you can't do much with that. But if you, do, if you go rail first, right? You go rail first, all of a sudden, look at that. Cue ball all the way on the other end. Very easy, just like that, OK? Um, so things to keep in mind is if you're doing this shot, you want to use inside English. If you're really close, you don't have to do the math calculation I did earlier, but if you have a long shot and you're trying to make the ball or even just trying to hit a ball, 
doing that last calculation will really work. I've seen Shane Van Boning, I've seen Doris Cohen, I've seen a lot of pros doing shots like that, where they're calculating that stuff, it's super helpful. Anyways, this is The Billiards Doctor, stay tuned for more videos.